you know, you say we have to do a Fallout tier list. Well, actually, before we talk about Fallout, we're going to talk about the cre the co-creator. Now, the guy was also a developer for the first and first game, but he did he did stuff for the second game. And he is, you know, we're talking about I think what's his name? Actually, we're going to pause here. And we're talking about Tim Kane. Now, Tim Kane Tim Kane is basically a man who is gay, of course. So he he's responsible for the creation of Fallout, and it's good to have a you know someone that is you know gay um, to make you know a game like the franchise like this and responsible for it. And it's really really good that he did that, and honestly, um, one of best per people ever made that made these franchises. He has a YouTube channel as well, um, quite surprisingly. But the franchise, um, I actually played these games, so it depends on how I'm going to talk about it. Um, now, some of these games, I'm probably just going to say I I've either played, like, it depends on what game I played on all of them. I'm going to say, um, we're going to start out with New Vegas, because that was my go-to. Like, it was my first time, like, I remember my first time playing it. I remember everything. Dude, I had to play the story. I remember how, like, I like the idea of factions. I like the everything about it. Um, I like that there's other ways you can kill Benny. Because there's always so many ways you can kill Benny. And you can do it by the cross. You can kill him in his sleep. You can literally, um, there's just so many ways you can do something with Benny. Um, that it's, like, literally insane. Like, you have all these other options you can do with Benny, but obviously it's not just about killing Benny. It's about siding like with fact, either, either factions like the, the NCR or the Legion or even like Mr. House and like basically all these fucking factions like that you can be a part of in the story and you can literally alter it to your, even you can be your own one man army even and work with yes, man. Um, or have other factions work with you, um, especially if you're siding with S Yes Man, uh, especially like the Brotherhood of Steel or the Enclave. That shit can happen. <laughs> um, I'm not sure about the followers of Apocalypse though, but I, I just I, I haven't really messed around. But honestly, I love this game so much. Even it's my first game, it's my first Fallout game, and it's one of the best, like ever in the in the series. It still is from 2010. Um, obviously, you can skip the tutorial and not give a shit about it. Um, at least you don't have to deal with what, what happened. With, you don't have to deal with stuff like with three, where you have to keep playing um, the go in the vault all over again a bunch of times. It's just it's fucking ridiculous. Um, but with New Vegas, it was always my personal favorite because you don't start off as a vault dweller, and it was different from every single Fallout game. It was different for any other Fallout game in itself. And when you play all these Fallout games. There's always a story behind it. There's always this... All this is so good. Storytelling is also really important as well. Especially in the Fallout games. So Fallout 3 has an easy story to follow. But it's always going to be about... Like, the Courier was a different thing. But Fallout 3 was about finding your dad. And literally having to go save him. Um, but eventually, well, not save him, but eventually he ends up dying anyways, and the guy who, that plays your dad is Liam Neeson. I mean, honestly, it's not the best Fallout game, but it, it definitely, like, to me, like, it's, it's almost great, like, the story itself, but however, it, there's things that I don't like about it, and there's things I do. Fallout New Vegas has so many weapon varieties that more than three... Like, 3 was, like, something, um, like, the thing about 3 was that you can easily get, you can easily get power armor training. New Vegas, you have to actually, like, um, do it, do it by basically doing a few certain quests for the Brotherhood of Steel. Um, but there's also, like, there's, like, literally two ways to get power armor training, although it's a lot more difficult than it is for free, because for 3, it's easy. Um... Um, but the thing is that what I what I don't like about these two games, the only thing I don't like is about is like literally you can just instantly put the power armor on, because in the later games, the later two games, uh, basically the, the you'd be able to do that stuff. Um, 
I really do like Honest Hearts DLC as well. It definitely goes in my grades. I like this DLC a lot. I like Z Zion Canyon. I love everything about it. Um, I love Joshua Graham. He's a great fucking character. Um, especially him talking about like Bible stuff. It's kind of in interesting. Um, he's a very, very good look, good man. And unfortunately, what's sad about his backstory is that he got burned like pretty badly. And he managed to survive because he was the Burning Man. Um, and he originally was a legate for the Caesar Legion. And Caesar betrayed him, really. And then he went off on his own stuff, which is kind of been crazy. Um, and, and then we got all these other like DLCs here, but I mean, we can talk about that one. Lonesome Road, I do like. It's just, it's like... It's cool that you can nuke something, but it's like, I would put them at almost great. I just prefer, I just like these two DLCs a lot. It's just like for New Vegas, because in particular, I find New Vegas's uh, DLCs very enjoyable, especially for me, um, personally. Um, like, no, I haven't tried the other ones yet, but I'll still have to give them a try. Um, especially um, New World um, Blues, which is probably like a solid as well i love this dlc it's still interesting as well of the technology and everything but i just i haven't gotten into it uh, like i wanted to um and i know i've been talking about too much fall i know it's boring right i get it like dude like fallout 4 is my favorite one of my favorites as well uh the problem with 4 is that i've had issues with it <laughs> like the game would freeze on me at certain times and it's happened on xbox it's bullshit um I'm pretty sure it's better on PC, so I, I have it on PC. Uh, well, I can play it on PC because I have the game, the game Pass Ultimate. But, like, it's so fucking annoying. And it's just, it's like, I played it on PS4, and it was, like, it was actually really good on PS4, uh, believe it or not. But I, I had a lot of memories with 4, um, especially, like, because in 2015, I remember, like, seeing 4. Like, like glimpses of 4. Like, I watched a couple things of it. Um, but Fallout New Vegas was my first, and it was really the best fucking game ever. Mind you, for me it was. And it's, 4 is up there too, um, because it was my introduction. Uh, the other DLCs are not really... I, I didn't like Far Harbor as much, and it's, it's an alright DLC, but it's not that great. Um, Nuka World's kind of a solid, interesting kind of thing, where... It's annoying how you get into the Nuka world, although I, I, I haven't really beaten Fallout 4 fully, although I really like to. Although I beat New Vegas a, a ton because I played it. I actually played an evil character, um, and I, it, and I did a lot of evil things with that character, and I did a lot more with that character because it was really fun, and I made this character female. And I made this character have sex with, with various people. Especially because in Fallout New Vegas, you can have sex. with, And you can make your character bisexual in New Vegas as well. And you can literally do... Like, you can sleep with men and women. But I made my character a female. And, of course, uh, named after the Wicked Witch of the West. I played as her, made her do evil things. Like cannibalism and all that, and, and all that shit. Made her join Caesar's Legion. And just kind of like did com com just evil crimes um but with Fallout 3 you can literally one of the most evil things you can do is like literally blow up megaton i mean a city or a town whatever which i do not recommend doing um obviously fallout 1 is probably like i would say uh one of the greatest games ever but at the same time it's not it's literally like i'd say it's almost great um like what i like about fallout 1 is like how I mean, all about what it is is really is it's a it's a isometric game, so it's literally different between um, with the, than these games. And obviously, it's literally like it's all about basically dealing with the master, who is the most disgusting fucking thing you can ever fucking witness in Fallout ever. Next to like the centaurs and shit, those got those fucking things are disgusting, like the, the more hideous like abominations. But um. All you have to do is super mutant, deal with super mutants and the master. Basically, it's master's army, basically. And it's in California, and basically, and... Um, I mean, sometimes... I mean, obviously, then we got Dead Money, which I haven't really played that much, but I'm not really a big fan of it, per se. It's just, like, you, you have to go to the casino and shit. Um, 
I'm gonna say the same thing with this game down here, and then uh, Fallout 2, Two. Fallout Two is probably like the better game because I like the idea of, I like the introduction of the Enclave. I like some of the things about Fallout Two as well, especially like talking about uh, Frank Horgan, and he's he's a fucking just he's fucking terrifying uh, to fight against, and a lot of that has to deal with it, um, his stats and stuff too. You have to think about that. Um, I um, mean, a lot of these are DLC, so we can talk about those, too. I think some of these are just, like, I don't really care for or whatever. Like, like Fault, this is cause th this is an alright DLC, I'd say. Don't care about these ones. Um, they're not really, I'm not, I'm not, I'm just in my cup of tea. Automation, don't give a shit about, really. Um, Nuclear Winter, don't care. Wastelanders is well, alright. I'm just gonna go on. Um, Curious Cl Cash um, stash is really good for early on, but it's not good for later on. It's just kind of like, nah, it's an all right one. Um, Fallout Tactics is like basically like uh, I'll say it's like probably um, not as good as one and two, but I'd say it's solid, I guess. Shelter Shelter's um pretty good mobile game and or game for like basically on Switch, if you really want to play that game. It's the only game on Switch really. Wild Appalachia is alright. Um, Fallout 76 and story itself is, I guess, easy to follow, but it's also very <laughs> fucking stupid. Um, but I honestly think it's a solid game. It's just, it's good for multiplayer purposes, it really is, but it's not the best. It's not the greatest either. Obviously, people, some people would put it as alright or not my cup of tea, but it's solid. It it still has it, it still has bugs, it still has issues, but I, I played it with people. It's really fun, and um, I have fun, I had fond memories of the game too, um, especially first time playing it where I got killed by some level whatever, how, I don't remember. I really do like Operation Anchorage DLC as well, I like this from 3, and I'm gonna explain why. Uh, this DLC is literally different from anything Fallout related, it's like literally you're playing in a simulation. And then you get, and then you get the reward of a power armor that doesn't even fucking break. Or doesn't like lose any du durability at all, which is basically a glitch uh, for that said power armor, which is the Winter Wintered Eyes T fifty one B armor. Um, I know I'm talking as fast as I can because I'm trying to. S um, I know I haven't played any of these and stuff, like any of the DLCs stuff, but I just don't care right now. Uh, Legendary Ron, uh, actually, I should should I just make a tier where I'm just I like let's just like, let's just make a tier I think below this one, just saying like. just like like just never done or whatever like I would say like probably these I would say never done or just like because the Fallout 76 stuff I just don't care for like and um fall I did play the pit once but I'm not a huge fan of it although there is 76 version which I might have to try that um but it's an all right DLC although it does mention Canada though in the DLC it involves a child, a baby, uh, or something. I don't know. Point Lookout literally is one of my favorite DLCs. It's really, really good. I I, I like I like both. Um, but I might put. I'm actually gonna put Point Lookout almost great though. But I think Point Lookout. I played this one a couple times. I like it, as well. And um, and how interesting. You can kill Desmond or you can kill that that stupid mon uh brain guy. For, uh, uh, the, the the mastermind brain that well it basically Desmond's arch nemesis. I I don't know I just remember some of the DLCs. Okay, Broken Steel is like the continuation of Fallout Three. Although I'm not entirely now you can join the Enclave though even with this DLC. So it's like you can literally do that. But I'm gonna say it's like I'm gonna say like even though you could have died, I think I find this to be an all right DLC. I think it's not as good because. With three and how it ends is you die. You, you think you died, right? Or you use a follower to destroy the um, purifier, and it, it probably would have made sense, right? But not really. Mothership Zeta is not really my favorite DLC. It's not the best one. I haven't done it yet, but I, I I'm I just don't like it really either. So like same with Dead Money. So I'm, they're not my favorite DLCs. I mean, then there's Gunrunners, which I really like this DLC. It's really useful. 
because it's with with without this you're kind of don't have a lot of like weaponry um options and stuff like that but i really love it and then this one i just don't give a shit about and that's basically it for the fallout um the fallout stuff and i mean i talk about dlcs and stuff i haven't really done much with 76 and dlcs but and there's a like at least one or two dlcs i've done with with uh, new vegas and three but that's about it um hope you guys enjoy this video and i'll see you guys for more content